Slow and steady. What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So uh, in today's video, I want to give you guys a recap of my day, um, some of the stocks that I traded, and just kind of look at what I, I think is going to happen tomorrow or just looking forward to what's going to happen in the future. So that's what I want us to talk in today's video. But before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. If that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. So guys, again, if you can see here, um, the market's still in, in some, some sort of red, uh, especially tech stocks are still taking a beating. Uh, most people are still saying this is not a correction, but based on how much uh, the market has pulled back, I think this, there's at least there's, this is a correction. Um, not a massive correction, but this is some sort of correction. Again, in my experience, I would say this is a correction. Um, a lot of you guys are that started trading last year um, with COVID uh, haven't really had the opportunity to experience something like this because if you give your grandma money last year, they would have invested it in the market and made profit. So everybody just uh, kind of felt like hey, the trading was just that easy and people were just putting money in the market and seeing profit and celebrating. But um, now that when you're going through your first correction, this is an opportunity for you to learn. You know, with the market, there is a ton of responsibilities that you have to make sure that you hang on to. Um, you see gains, you secure profit, you make sure that you have your stop losses. As a matter of fact, you have to be a little bit um, on the cautionary side as opposed to just being bullish all the time because the market can always, as we've seen right now, uh, turn around and take all your profit. So you can take a whole week, a whole month, a whole year to accumulate profit and it would disappear in less than a week or two, just like that, right in front of your face and you cannot do anything to stop it. So um, again, if you are one of those people that started trading last year, um, I don't want this to discourage you in the market. Take this as a learning opportunity. And this is where um, I want to give you guys some, some really good advice here. If you have positions that you consider long-term positions, this is a time for you to either um, add some more money and, and buy more stocks in that particular position that you have, um, what you call averaging down. And then, or if you had some stocks that you were swing trading, I would assume that at this particular point, you would have cut your losses and just hold, hang on to that cash so you can redeploy that. Um, if you were day trading, you really don't have to do anything. You just have to keep looking for opportunities. So for me, my long-term position is taking a beating because I'm actually tech heavy, but I don't really care about that. I'm actually just trying to make more money from my day trading and deploy that into uh, my long-term uh, portfolio. So, and then right now I'm not doing um, a swing trading as much as I used to, just because the market is so much uncertainty um, you get up in the morning, um, uh, Jerome Powell would be you know, giving a talk and next thing you know, the market panics and drop. So I don't want to get caught in any of those uh, swing trades. So for now, I'm just watching uh, some stocks and putting a list of potential swing trades as soon as I see that the market is starting to show some sort of recovery. But for right now, I'm just day trading and putting money into my long-term uh, portfolio. So that's my strategy. I hope you guys um, have a similar strategy or at least have a, a strategy that keeps you in the position where um, you are still building long-term um, investments, but at the same time, generating income um, uh, along the way. So for me, day trading generates that income and I, I deploy it in my long-term uh, portfolio. So that said, um, let's jump right in today and take a look at some of the stocks that I traded. Again, guys, the market was kind of choppy. Um, it wasn't really clear, but you guys know my secret sauce uh, for the, the last two weeks, even going into next week, I'll still be looking um, uh, towards uh, NFT stocks. That is, that has been my secret sauce. Um, even though um, some of the stocks I traded today were not all NFTs, but NFTs are still the place to be. If you're not trading NFTs, I would say take a look at some of the stocks. Um, look at uh, the watch list that I sent out uh, every morning, and you would see that uh, NFTs have been paying the bills uh, for me. So uh, let's let's jump right here. And I'm going to show you guys 
real quick. So here's a white shield that I sent out this morning uh, for uh, the stocks that I was going to trade. As you can see here, um, majority of them, I think this um, APTO, that's a biotech one. So that one didn't really make the cut as far as NFT, but that was one that was really showing some good um, uh, push this morning. So I, ha I had that one on the list. And then if you can see here, this is my, this is my p and for the stocks that I traded. Not uh, a massive day like um, yesterday, but guys, if you can look at this, again, my goal is 250 a day. And I, I try to preach this because I'm not a greedy savage. If you go in and think that you want to start making Lamborghini money, you are going to blow your account like there's nothing. So be careful. Even if it's $10, $20 profit that you make, to me, that's $20 that you didn't have maybe an hour, a minute, or even a few seconds ago. So if you see that kind of money, secure that profit and live to die another day. The one thing I want you to understand is that the market would always give you opportunities. Sometimes we act as if uh, the one trade that we got into, that is the last trade ever. No, take that profit and wait uh, for other opportunities. And then the other questions that I get a lot too from you guys is, oh, but you need $25,000 to day trade. I'm like, that's not true. I've done videos here on the channel where I show you how you can use um, less than $5,000, less than even less than $2,000 to day trade. Um, you split, if you have a cash account, you split that money into two equal halves. So if you have $2,000, you split it into two $1,000 pieces. They, you use $1,000 to trade each day and then allow the other one to settle the next day. So that way you keep trading. Um, again, I'm going to do some revision uh, on those videos and um, expect a series coming out that I'm going to be walking you guys through the steps again. And this uh, right now, um, I'm I really, I'm really going to make it more like a course, but I'm going to put it here on YouTube so you guys can watch it um, um, and just kind of learn. Because again, my whole idea here is what I'm learning and sharing with you guys. Hopefully, it's helping you put money in your pocket, helping you uh, really become a better trader. Uh, I'm not sitting here saying that I'm some wizard or expert, guys. Everything that I'm, I'm telling you guys, I didn't take a course. I learned it on my own, and I'm just sharing. And that's why my my strategy, I try to simplify as much as possible. I'm not going in there and thinking like, oh, I want to make 50, just make like $50,000 in one trade or $10,000 in one trade. No, I'm going in very simple. I go in, if I make $100, I secure that $100 and wait. Um, if I make another 100, I secure and wait. And most of my trades, it usually takes about maybe 50 seconds or so. The trade is done and I'm, I'm $100 or $200 richer than I started my day. Again, guys, um, these are the stocks. NFTs were really good. If you can see here, WKEY was my biggest winner for the day. Um, and then the other ones are pretty good, but everything at least was over a hundred dollar profit that I had for the day. So if we jump in here, I'm going to show you guys some of the stuff that, uh, just going to show you some of the stuff that I traded on the chart. So if you can see here, um, uh, W K E Y, this is, this is it right here. If you can see, um, this one really made some excellent move. Look at that gap right there. It crosses V WAP. So this whole thing market open, it was just flat. Look at it sitting right there below VWAP. And at this point, me, I'm not going to touch this. This is this is like a bear trap. So I'm like, I'm not touching it below VWAP. I'm not touching it. And then um, look at how that volume came in right here. And the thing just jumped. And so I, I saw it gapping. And um, I think I got in somewhere around uh, $13 and some change. Traded it to, up, uh, to about uh, 16 and got out. Um, but then look at what happened. It just kept going up till um, to higher about twenty two dollars and some change. Um, I got out early, but guys, remember it, the most important thing is for you to secure that profit. So I could have waited in here, but I didn't want to take that chance because um, towards the, the afternoon, a lot of people start uh, selling and securing profit. So I didn't want to sit in this particular one waiting for that long. So I took my profit and walked away. But you see. The volume came in and it was really good. Just gonna make that push. Even after hours, showed a little bit of strength and then just crumbled um, in, in, in down to $16 and some change right now. So uh, I'm gonna be watching this one tomorrow morning just to see what happens there. 
So that's that's one. So let's go see uh, APTO. And this one again, uh, APTO. This is um, this is a, a bio. I think it's a pharmaceutical company. So this one was great right at the open. And um, I should have. I, sh I mean, I'm mad at myself because I should have made more than two or one there. But hey, um, again, I'm not a greedy savage. I'm happy with that profit. So this one market opens. I pulled back a little bit right here. And I was like, huh, I hope the thing doesn't just uh, crumble. And then it squeezed. Look at that volume coming in. You see that down here? Look at that volume, man. It's like sweet volume came right in. So it crosses VWAP right here. And I jumped in. This pullback right here scared me a little bit because I got in somewhere around here. Um, this pullback scared me. I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Um, but then I, I held my ground and the thing just popped. Look at that pop, like right there. So I wrote this one and got out at about seven, I think seven one. That's when I got out of this one. And then as you can see, a pullback and then uh crashed all the way. Look at that, that drop. And this is this is the reason why I would say your stop loss is gonna save you so much money. <coughs> <clears throat> so if you were trading this without a stop loss, look at what would have happened. You would have gone from six, seven to um six just like that in a blink of a second. But it, it pulled down and then squeezed back up again all the way to about that same six seven, which is kind of crazy. So, uh, but down here, so you guys know, I don't like trading below VWAP. So I saw this like ah, it's not good. It looks like it's moving, but I'm not gonna take that trade. And look at the, the, the these candles here. Look at the Doji's on both sides of it. It's like that. Nah, I don't want that. It, it wasn't showing any strength, um, either like confirming that it's going up or down, but. Slowly was moving up. Out, I, I didn't want to risk um, my profit, so I just got out of that one, and then and I didn't come back to trade it. And that's how this particular one ended. So if we take a look at um, H O F V, um, where is it? H O F V. Uh, there you are. So this one, um, right out of the gate, um, I was looking at this one pre market. And I was like, hey, I like this one. Right out of the gate, it flushes. I'm like, oh man, this is not good. And then I watch it pull back, um, crosses VWAP, test VWAP here, and then fail. I'm like, oh, this thing is gonna crumble. So I, I just, I was just looking at it, looking at uh, my charts. It's like, okay, but it, I saw a little bit of volume come in here. So okay, this is good. I test VWAP again. Next thing I know, it cracks through VWAP. So I, I got in here, I think at about six point nine or so. Um, and then wrote it up here. I got I got up somewhere around here. I didn't make it all the way to six to seven six. So I got out about seven to seven three. Um, and then just to see go all the way to seven six. But guys, again, see what happens right after that? It flushes. So I don't wait to take profit at the very tip. I try to get out as soon as I know that I'm in the money. And in this case, I was already like one hundred nineteen dollars in the money. So I took my profit and I got out. And um, from there, it just went south, see? So this was a really good trade, but very risky too, because it, it, it just went south and never recovered um, the entire day, which is kind of crazy. And then uh, DLPN. So going into uh, the trading day, I was excited about DLPN because look at what happened here after hours. After hours yesterday, this thing just went from $16 and squeeze um, to a high of about, let's see, right, right, like $31. Then the market opened uh, today, and this thing went, um, it, it just kind of moved up and came back, pulled back, squeezed about $37, almost $38 uh, pre market, and then pulled back and just um, kind of just never really recovered again from that high of 37.8 uh, during uh, pre market. So uh, I looked at this one, it's like, hey, is there an opportunity here? And I found one. So here you can see the same thing. Market opens. It kind of showed like it was going to move a little bit, flushes, and then our uh, tested VWAP here that fails miserably, pull back. And I was like, huh, I, I was really, really counting on this one. And then it pulled up again here, crosses VWAP, tested, 
So when it, it crossed VWAT this this third time right here, that's when I took a swing. I think it's, I, I think I got in at like twenty eight nine or so, or twenty nine dollars. I think I gotta go look back the numbers. So from twenty nine, this one I got out at thirty two point three, somewhere around there. So and the, I didn't even use a uh, stop loss on this one. I just used my hot keys. So I got in. It was moving so fast, and I just because uh, on my on my setup. My hard key for sell all is Alt X, so it it was just gapping up, and I just hit Alt X, and um, I thought that I was at thirty two, but it when I checked that my exact sell price was it was at thirty two point I think thirty two point three or so, so I'm like oh that's good because I it it, it does a, a market sell, so by the time the order executor it. it it was at thirty two point three, so I I took that I was happy, um then it pulled back. Down here, I saw this movement, but you guys know I don't like trading below VWAP unless it's like a string trade that I'm buying and then holding that it would go and cross VWAP. But day trading, I hate trading below VWAP because that is I it, there's never really a time that I see that gives me um some confirmation, so I hate that. And then see crumbled all day and never recovered. So that's why you secure profit when you have the opportunity. And then these are the two here, as you can see, um, those are the um, SNES and then BBIG. This one just popped up on, on the gap scanner and um, I traded that one and just um, I made some a little bit of money there. I was just happy again, guys, look at the numbers. Everything was over a hundred bucks, which is kind of nice. So overall we had, so this is 300, 200, that's uh, five, six, seven, eight, um, just over uh, $900 for the day, which is awesome. Um, I can't complain about that. Um, again, NFT stocks are hot, guys. So that's what, uh, again, I'm going to be looking tomorrow. But, I mean, there's still some pharmaceutical stocks that are doing doing their thing. And so I'm going to keep an eye um, on those. Again, if you are, if you're looking to um, day trade any of these stocks, guys, I, I want you to always make sure that, first things first, if it's better for you to get out of a trade and lose $10, $15, they're hoping and they end up losing a ton of money. Get out and give yourself an opportunity to go back in. And if you're not good at this particular point, if you're still like learning, then don't don't go in with massive positions. If you have, uh, let's say, two grand in your account, open a simple position with 100 bucks or 150 bucks and make sure that you fine tune before you jump in and start doing it big, guys. So use very simple common sense um, to trade. So tomorrow, again, I'm going to be looking at uh, NFT stocks. Um, again, that's what the market is giving me right now. So I'm going to keep trading those. Um, you can see on the tech side, things are not moving as we would expect. The overall state of the market is not um, excellent in my opinion. So um, I, I try to be very cautious um, with um, any sort of a swing trade as well as even my day trades. So that's uh, what I'm going to be doing. So let me know in the comment section again, guys. Um, and the reason I'm doing this is because I got um, good feedback from you guys. The video that I posted yesterday, everybody was like, hey, yeah, this we like this kind of breakdown. So that's what I'm going to be doing um, moving forward um, every day that I trade. If I don't post the video, either I didn't trade that day or... I, I would have to post it the next day if I if I don't have time. But I would love to be sharing this with you guys. And again, I, I don't care if I have a red day, I'm going to be doing everything. Red, green days, I'm going to be posting all of that so you guys can actually see uh, what's going on there. So uh, let me know in the comment section what you guys think. Um, did you trade today? What stocks did you trade? Are you guys trading these NFT stocks and taking advantage of the momentum? Guys, I'm not buying enough of these NFT stocks to hold long term because uh, I'm pretty sure as soon as we get back to, our, you know, the market starts to recover, people are going to jump ship. People are going to get back to trading what they know better. So, again, all these NFT stocks are just for me to make some profit day trading. That's about it. No long term positions, no swing trades. So that's it. Um, I'll see you guys in the next one. If you're new to the channel, guys, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. If that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. Also, if you are looking to get started with investing, Weibo has the promotion where if you sign up and deposit $100, you get free stocks. Links in the description below. And as always, guys, do your homework. Don't be a greedy savage and stay motivated.